Hi, I'm Kevin Lutz, and my presentation is on steroids. This is Barry Bonds. He had a huge amount of awards when he played baseball. Along with that, he broke the record for all-time home runs, single-season home runs, and intentional walks. He was a force to be reckoned with on the baseball field that made defenses scared. You would think logically that Barry Bonds would be able to be in the Hall of Fame without any question. However, Barry Bonds did not get to all these awards through hard work and effort, but he used a special serum of hormones called steroids. Bonds was an era of baseball called the steroid era. From the late 1980s to the late 2000s, steroids were rampant in baseball. This Use of steroids diminished the value of sports and by taking out the hard work and effort that professional athletes needed and used to get to where they were. That's why I propose that there should be a zero tolerance policy for professional sports so that when professional athletes are caught using steroids, they're banned from the league. Morals. Steroids provide an unfair advantage against other players. This is Barry Bonds from the year 1991 to 2004. You can tell that there is a significant gain in muscle mass between these 13 year period, to the point that he is almost unrecognizable. A beginner weightlifter can gain about 2.5 pounds per month. On steroids, a weightlifter can gain on average 8 to 16 pounds per month. This is an increase of more than four times the average amount that a beginner can gain. This shortcut eliminates the hard work and effort that uh, it requires a natural gain between this and this. Also, anabolic steroids are illegal. Do, according to the Anabolic Steroid Control Act of 1990, the penalty for obtainment of steroids is a $1,000 fine plus one year in prison. The penalty for trafficking steroids is a $250,000 fine plus a five, year, um, five years in prison. If this offense is, occurs again, the maximum penalties are doubled. Steroids are a major problem now because they are so easy to access. Although they are illegal, you can find them on the streets and on internet on sites like iroids.net. Steroids are also very harmful to your health. When ejected or ingested, steroids can cause baldness, mood swings, confused hormones, acne, stunted growth, heart attack and stroke, liver cancer, tumors, cysts, infection, and kidney damage. Along with that, steroids can cause a decreased size of testicles, developing breasts, rupturing tendons, and you can suffer from delusions. Steroids are good in proportion because they help control the body's growth and uh, production of testosterone. However, when this testosterone is overused, it can shut down hormonal, musculoskeletal, and cardiovascular system that can cause death. <coughs> A major part that steroids does is help you gain muscle. This can negatively affect sports because of the increases in concussions. Last year alone, 52,000 people died from concussions. As the league of the NFL gets bigger and stronger, concussions seem to be more apparent. In the year 2000, 36 people uh, were reported to have concussions. However, in the NFL in 2013, 228 concussions were reported. Let's say 6.3 times greater um, report of concussions. Although steroids add muscle, uh, add muscle to your body, it doesn't add muscle to your head which, when hit by these more muscular, faster, stronger athletes, you are more susceptible to um, concussion because the helmets are already failing without steroid juice stuff athletes. Economically, there are positive sides to steroid use. As shown in this, Steroid wasn't very popular until the mid-1900s. 
or 1990s. There was a huge spike right when steroid use became popular. However, in 1994, during the steroid strike, the popularity decreased in a huge amount. This shows that during McGuire's home run chase to beat Sosa's record and then Barry Bonds's, the increase of attendance increased drastically. And then once the record was broken, it dropped again. This shows that as the buildup of anxiety and uh, attendance occurs when records were being broken, which was held by steroids. In 1995 to 2001, when Bonds beat McGuire's record, attendance was up 44%, prices were up 78%, and revenue was increased by 115%. The future for steroids. There should be an absolute zero tolerance policy in steroids to protect future generations. This shows when the start of the steroid era began, there was only 1.8% of the 10th graders that used steroids. However, in a nine year period to the year 2000, when steroids were very prevalent in Major League Baseball, the average uh, percent that of 10th graders that used steroids went up to 3.5%. This is a huge gain due to the 10th graders seeing the MLB players as their role models using steroids, believing that it is okay for them to use it. To distinguish this problem, we need to make these policies more harsh. In the NBA and the NFL, they do not have a set penalty for steroids use after the fourth offense. As in MLB and NHL, there are lifetime bans after the third offense. However, for NBA and NFL, it is not clear. I suggest that there should be only a first offense policy. There should be a zero tolerance for that. Once a first caught with steroids, the lifetime ban should be uh, set upon the player because they are cheating and influencing the younger generations that steroid use is okay and that if they get caught a few times, that it'll be okay even though it's very detrimental to their health and for their future. This is the main solution. We should not use steroids, but focus on the hard work and effort that is gained through weightlifting and without the use of a cocktail serum of hormones to make you achieve goals that you cannot achieve with just through hard work. Jim. Any questions? Yes. <clears throat> All right, so how did the stimulus materials or the source material inspire your original research, and which one specifically prompted your research? Uh, the steroid article. Okay, which one was that? Tell me more about that article and what inspired you by it. Um, steroid article about um, how steroids affected that man influenced my... <laughs> All right, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Uh, I would suggest to look at both ways because coming into this, I was very one-minded, one-way-minded about the steroids. I actually first thought that we should have steroids in sports because of the only entertainment factor and how it would feel culturally because more people like to watch these superhuman athletes play. However, deeper in the research, I found the negative side effects, which really made me look at the different side of the claim that steroids should be used in sports. So I would suggest that when doing the research, they should focus on both sides, because both sides have very strong arguments about why it should be prevalent. Okay. You done?